County Coliseum as we prepare for the medal ceremony and ice dancing. A capacity crowd is on hand. And it was a sweep for the CIS. They said they came here to correct the mistake made last year when they lost their world title in Munich. They are gold medalists once again. Marina Klamova and Sergei Ponomarenko. And once again, the crowd on its feet here. Well, it almost seems ironic, the fact that it was Marina who apparently had a skate problem prior to the free dance here today, and yet it's their teammates who lose the edge. What a glorious career. The Olympic bronze, the Olympic silver, the Olympic gold, three world championships, five silver medals. And as they referred in their interview with Brian, There's no sadness in it ending because they have new challenges ahead. In second place, and winners of the silver medal, represent the Commonwealth of Independent States by Arusima and Alexander Julin. Great crowd favorites still looking for their first world title, and Barb, we were comparing notes thinking that about halfway through the program, we felt it might have been tonight. Well, I was just down speaking to their coach, Natalia Dubova, and she felt the same thing. She just felt that they really had it tonight up until the fall. She also said they have absolutely no idea what happened on the fall. It just happened. Well, they talk about changing their style next year have not said whether it will be modern, contemporary, but I don't think they have much to change, especially with the retirements of the Duchenis and Klamova Ponomarenko. For the last time, these two couples will congratulate each other on an amateur podium. Well, I'm really pleased at the fact that the Silva and Zulin are continuing as amateurs because it would really be a shame to see them go out without a world championship. Second silver for them, along with two bronze medals. And here's a new experience. The first world medal for these two, Gritschuk and Platov. Well, there has been a lot of discussion in recent months that in light of all the changes which have taken place in the former Soviet Union, that their sporting bodies perhaps will begin to feel the pinch of not having the funds that were previously made available to them. You I don't know if that will reflect next year or not or when, but right now it's evident that it's not affecting their program quite yet. You just saw a shot of Natalia Dubova, the second and third place team's coach, and she said, after both teams went down, she said, well, maybe it was something that I did today. <laughs> well, although the, we're used to seeing the Russians dominating the dance competition, we've never seen this before. All three on the podium at once. An unprecedented sweep here in dance. Presenting the medals, Mr. Olaf Paulson, the ISU representative at these championships, and the president of the International Skating Union. Well, one interesting sidebar to Uzova Zulin's situation is the fact that after the European Championships, they decided to change costume for the Olympic Games. They wore a different costume at the Games, and then actually asked me my opinion earlier in the week which outfit I thought they looked best in. I preferred what they wore in Albertville, but they obviously didn't value my opinion very highly and went back to that which they wore at the Europeans. It's interesting that both the first and second place teams are married couples, and they have felt that that was one of the keys to their look 
And in their rivalry with the Duchenes, who pointed out that they felt uh, their projection of love and emotion was much stronger than the Duchenes, who were brother and sister. These two are not married. Klamova and Panamarenko, an amazing string since 1984. They were first or second at every competition after the Olympic bronze medal. And as they sit in their interview with Brian, very busy, even a movie planned by Mr. Howard Taylor, the co-chairman of the 1992 World Games. There's been so many twists and turns in this. Wonderful story of Klamova Ponomarenko from the coaching change and they've had their down spots as well that drug scandal after the European Championships in Sofia that turned out to be a, a mistake in the drug testing. Well Natalia Dubova also coached this team for many years so you can imagine if she was still with this team she would have all top three dance champions here on the podium. And you get the feeling just watching on the podium, Gritschek and Platov are enjoying this the most. Well, what a marvelous year of entertainment they've given us from the European Championships through the Olympics. And here at the world, please rise as the flags of the medalists are raised. All that's the missing is the an anthem from the Soviet flag. Union. Instead, we'll rise for the ISU song.